Perry's former husband, Sean Perry, and two other men, Russell Hardy and Joseph Hardwick, also died in the crash. But so far, FAA investigators still don't know what caused the crash. The small plane crashed one week ago into a peak in the Superstition Mountains just 40 miles east of downtown Phoenix. Reporter Matthew Trotter spent some time talking with pilots about the challenges of flying in this area. And he joins us live to tell us why some are not surprised the accident happened. Brandon, the plane took off from Mesa's Falcon Field, an area where air traffic had become so congested recently, the FAA changed some flight rules. We learned as far back as 2006, some pilots feared the changes would make it so dangerous to fly around the Superstition Mountains, the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association filed suit. 911 emergency. The plane just crashed into the Superstition Mountains, just at the top. Investigators don't yet know the cause of the crash that killed three men and three children the night before Thanksgiving, but some groups partially blame the FAA. It took five years for it to occur, but unfortunately six people had to pay the price. The FAA says pilots of small planes can't fly above 5,000 feet near the Superstitions without permission from Sky Harbor. James Tim has been flying for five decades and says navigating these mountains below that altitude is scary. And a lot of us felt very uncomfortable with um, having to, uh, if we're going into the east, flying at that low of altitude over this, um, this rugged of terrain. The problem started in 2006 when more and more commercial flights started sharing the airspace. The rules were changed and small planes were no longer allowed above 5,000 feet in this area. But is it fair to blame the FAA rule? The crash two weeks ago is the only one near the superstition since the change in October 2007. Many pilots we spoke with said almost no one from Falcon Field flies over the mountains. Before they changed the airspace and after, you, you typically always planned around the south end of it. So but explaining it doesn't tell you everything. The only way to really know how pilots navigate the superstition mountains is to go on a flight with one. Kurt Cessna 182 is a typical plane at Falcon Field. These hills five miles east of the airport are at the western edge of the 30-mile wide airspace in which small planes must stay below 5,000 feet. Just a few minutes after passing the hills, Kurt turns the plane south and flies a loop to turn back toward the airport. Maybe inexperienced people or people who are not familiar with the area, uh, I would say it might create a hazard just because they don't know the the depth and the terrain. And while James wants more room for small plane pilots, he also knows this crash didn't have to happen. You have to maintain situational awareness. And evidently in this case, the pilot kind of lost his situational awareness. Now the judge ultimately dismissed the Pilot Association's lawsuit, and it's unclear whether the FAA will take another look at airspace around the Phoenix area following this crash. Live in the control room, Matthew Trotter, Cronkite News.